Despite a 38-14 defeat, Bedford Blues gave a strong account of themselves last Sunday against league leaders Bristol at Ashton Gate. Following an impressive Bedford opening, with the visitors' scrum proving dominant, it was Bristol who were first to put points on the scoreboard, with a Mitch ED try six minutes in. The number eight wandered through a large gap in the Blues' defence to touch down as Matthew Morgan supplied the perfect pass. The 20-minute mark saw second row Ben Gulliver stretched off with a nasty-looking ankle injury. With the lock forward down, the host showed no mercy to score their second try in the corner. As the clock ticked down towards half-time, a vulnerable Bedford side were left fighting for their lives as three controversial yellow cards from referee Stephen Lee saw the Blues reduced to 12 men. Nick Fenton Wells was the first to be sent to the bin for a harsh-looking decision, following a minute later by Harry Wells, who was adjudged to have collapsed a mall, before James Pritchard made it a hat-trick of yellows for a supposed deliberate knock-on. With three more players on the pitch than their opponents, Bristol inevitably capitalised, Edie scoring their third try just before the interval. The Blues came out in the second half firing, and with only 12 men showed great determination and bravery in defence. The Bristol waves continued though, as Dwayne Peel grabbed a questionable fourth and bonus point try as the ball appeared to bounce over the line. Mike Rea's men were back to full strength shortly after and registered their first score of the afternoon through Paul Tupai. Wells charged down a kick from Dwayne Peel on the 22 metre line, putting fly half Morgan under pressure on his own line. Blue's pressure resulted in a loose ball which the experienced Tupai pounced on for his 12th try of the season. Jake Sharp added the extras for a 24-7 scoreline. And the visiting support didn't have to wait long for another as the former Samoan international got his second try of the game, making him Bedford's highest try scorer this season. A quick tap from Daryl Veenendahl found Tupai, who powered over the line for another converted score. Bristol responded with two late tries from David Lemmy and Jack Wallace, intercepted only by a brawl on the touchline following another tightly contested scrum. In another action-packed game, Paul Tupai saw yellow for the Blues' fourth of the match, with Carl Trainer and Reese Lawrence of Bristol going unpunished. The fight also cancelled out a fine Pat Tapley try, with the Blues heading towards a losing bonus point.